what's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of ReZero season 2 episode 4 almost said season 3 um so like I, I if you guys saw the god of high school episode yesterday I was having trouble with this lagging if I keep this on the screen for too long this box I don't know it like was overheating um so I'm gonna try my best to time the audios and the visuals kind of hard when you, it's not dubs but um anyway so whatever uh what happened last time though so last time he's yeah he's in this like a dream world um like i don't i don't know what we want to call it dream world it's the test pretty much the trust that trust the test that ekina i think she's she let him she's like okay i'm gonna make sure i'll, I'll let i'll allow you to take the test pretty much um, so I don't know what this, t he's got to face his past or something like that, right? So we got to see what, like, lesson he's going to learn. I don't know. That seems like it's going to be maybe an essential lesson or maybe he'll learn a little bit about how he got here or maybe not. I don't know if they've even covered that in the manga yet or light novels. Oh, but I, I don't know. So I, I really have no clue how this is going to end up, how it's going to turn out. We'll have to see. Um... But now I'm really curious to see, like, what do you need to face in your past? What what did you block out? Because they clearly blocked something out or forgot. I don't know. But, uh, let's find out. Anyways, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell down there to be notified every time I upload a video. It'll go off. Anyway, um, oh, 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 and subs, wait. Uh, Patreon, 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 Patreon. Patreon, the link for that's in the description below. So that's where you can catch this full ReZero reaction if you're watching this on YouTube and it's not in a link in the description on Patreon it's it's just a link boom you click it you get the full thing it's not like you have to go back to the YouTube video for the review nope nope it's all in place kind of oh, I guess technically too because the link takes you to Mega but it's easier and it's full but yeah <laughs> anyways um let's jump into the reaction guys um, wow, it's a really intense episode. Um, so, oh man, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared it's like gonna lag if I keep this on the screen for too long while I talk, but. I don't know, because it was lagging yesterday, but it's not doing it today. I'm just like, I'm nervous. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I can always redo a review because I always think of things afterwards anyway. So, I think I want to hold Grim. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I just, this whole episode, just seeing how understanding his parents were is just amazing. Like, they tried to be fun and uplifting for him and kind of crack some jokes. I think they knew he was depressed. And they noticed today when he woke up, because he was depressed for so long, they noticed today when he woke up, he was different. And I think that they realized, they, they noticed he was different because he didn't seem as depressed. He didn't seem, he seemed like, I think a bit, oh, I didn't mean to say, hey, Siri. That's what she thought I said. I think he seemed happier in a way or I don't know maybe like he had a little energy in him you know what I mean I mean he actually wrestled with his dad in the morning he he had some life in him I mean you, you saw him when he walked to the convenience store guys he looked lifeless like he his eyes looked he looked dead inside he he absolutely was someone going through depression and I get it like you're you're comparing yourself to your parents, you know, especially his dad, you know. His dad was just like this great guy, super athletic, super outgoing, it seems like super successful in a way. Super like friendly with everyone, a lot of friends. And um so when he won that race towards the athletic part of him, his dad he 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 seemed like he was athletic like his dad. Oh yeah, you definitely take after your dad. I think at that point it's like, Okay, cool, I'm special, I'm like my dad. But then, like, that starts that kind of that downhill uh, kind of, like, track of thinking where you're just constantly comparing yourself to another person, which everyone does that. 
I think people more so than not, some people more so than others, and they do it, and they're like, some people are more hard on themselves with other than others with this. Like I am, uh, I'm better now. I used to be a lot harder on myself, um, with just everything. You know, my looks, my, um, like comparing myself, like what I do compared to what other people do, like how they, you know, pass the time. Like, is what I do weird or? how I act is maybe different than other people act. Like, I, I'm not as funny as this person. I'm not as pretty as that girl. I'm not as experienced in doing this, this, or that, or good at this, this, or that. Um, I'm not, I don't know as much about anime as other people. Like, my friends, you know, when I first met them, they're gonna think I'm boring. Like, I don't know anything about video games. They're gonna think I'm boring. I'm, one of the biggest things I did was saying to myself, you're boring, no one would want to be friends with you, you don't know how to have a conversation with people, you're too quiet, no one's going to want to be your friend, and no one's ever going to want you, you're ugly, and, but for him, you know, it's like, he just feels like he was, and I never felt like I was good at anything either, I was just like relating to him a lot, like, I never felt like I was good at anything, nothing, I just never felt like anything was my thing, you know what I mean? Now I guess my thing-ish is anime, but I'm not, like, the best. I don't know how you can be the best at anime. Maybe, like, knowing more animes than another person, or maybe be able, ugh, being able to remember more, or being, I don't know, like, I, I don't know, but I, I'm hard on myself with that, and I just, like, I see him doing that. You don't need to be your dad. I, that's what, you know, I would try to, like, you need to tell yourself that. You don't need to be just like that girl. You don't need to be just like that boy, and you don't need to be like your siblings. You don't need, you just, you don't, you know what I mean? Like, just be you. Do what you like. Do what you want to do. Stop trying to be who you think everyone else thinks you should be or what you think will make you accepted by others. And even today, I still do it, you know? And I know everyone does, but like, that's, he was being so hard on himself. He couldn't even bring himself to go to school because, you know, he would, he did that thing where, you know, I'll be the jokester and I'll crack jokes. And then I got to the point where it's like, I'm just going to have to keep topping myself and doing more extreme things, more stupid things to to keep them interested in me and not be boring. And then eventually, like, he saw, like, what he was probably afraid was going to happen. No one was left. No one was behind him anymore. No one was following him. And he had no one. I mean, yes, his parents, but he didn't have any friends. You know, it's different. And... I just broke my heart because he was trying so hard to just have a friend and just feel like he was special and feel like he's enough and you get to it just it's amazing to feel like you're special you want to feel like you're special you want to feel like you bring something to the table that no one else does because then you feel like you're valuable or that you bring something of value which in turn makes you feel like you're valuable so I mean he never, or he didn't feel that for a long time, I should say. He felt that when he was a kid, but then he lost that race later in, you know, down the line. And he didn't, he's like, well, now what? Now I've got to find my thing. And that was the joke thing. And then it just, that didn't last. And so then it's just like, why? I'm going to have to go to high school and make this big debut. And then it's like, well, what am I going to do? How am I going to stand out and, like, get people to want, like, what's going to, what am I going to do that's going to want to make people, like, be drawn to me? I don't know. And I think that pressure, maybe, if I'm, you know, assuming or, like, if I read this correctly, you know, it was, like, that pressure was just too much for him. And it is a lot of pressure. I understand it. Like, but the fact, what makes me cry the most, it's like, he's putting all this pressure on himself. I don't know if I would have cried more if his parents were assholes or not. But, like, his parents just being so understanding and... Being able to pick up on the fact that their son, like, is a little bit different today. Is there a girl you like? Is there a girl you like? I get it, Dad. Yeah, is that why I don't want to go to school? Because there's a girl I like? Is there, I don't know if that's what he was assuming, but... Or maybe there's a girl he likes and that's why he's happier today. I don't know. I What are you trying to say? You want to know why I don't go to school? This is why. And then his dad, he, he's him saying, like, I wish you guys would have told me, like, that I'm a loser and I'm nothing and, that, and disown me and, like, kick me out. Why would you want them to do that? Like, I never, I still don't really understand why, like, because you felt like you weren't good enough? Did you feel like you were dragging them down and disappointing them? 
So you wanted them to just get rid of you? No. It's like, I love what his dad said. So, just because you're not just like me, or that you're struggling, or you're, like, you, you, you wrapped yourself in your shell, that means I should get rid of you? No, that just means I should be there for you more, and check up on you more, and... Like, what? <laughs> She's calling me. Like, oh, it broke my heart when his dad said that. What? Just because you went in your shell means I'm supposed to get rid of you? Are you stupid? No! I'm just gonna love you more! <laughs> Oh, God, beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. And his mom tell him, you know, like, if you can be half as cool as your dad, because you're half me, so if you can be half as cool as your dad, and the other half of you is just Subaru, then that's okay. Ah, love it. I love it. Like, just be yourself. You being you is enough. And then telling her, like, you know, even if you don't, Things, pretty much like I think she was trying to say, if things don't go the way you plan them, you know, I mean, I should probably go back and look at the line, but she said, I'll be heading this way. Will you be going on your own way soon, too? Yeah, because they're going to be separated because he's going to the other world. And then she does that whole take care thing. That was amazing. Because he didn't really get to say a real goodbye last time. We had you... We didn't have you because we wanted something from you. We had you because we wanted to do something for you. Like, every line in here is fucking beautiful. That's why your parents have you, because they love you. Well, mo I don't know about most parents, but a percentage of them, and like, oh, they're just so fucking cute. I can't stop crying. Wait, look at, look at, ah! <laughs> I love him, like, just seriously, I just want to hug him and just, I'll just tell him everything's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. I wanna find that line where she's, where she says it. There's nothing wrong with crying, I love that. As long as you can smile when you're done, everything will be fine. What matters isn't how you start or what happens in the middle. It's how it ends. <laughs> so I get what she's saying, like, maybe not, like, right now with him, it's like, okay, you're not where you want to be right now. But you know where you want to be. You know how you want things to end up. And just keep that, like, hope alive. Just know that there's hope and you can get there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, not everything is going to be the way you want it right now. Maybe you're not who you want to be. Maybe the way you get there is not the way you really want it to happen. But as long as you keep trying and you keep giving it your all, you just you just keep trying to get there and you don't give up. That's I feel like that's what she's saying. Like, that's what matters. And if I'm wrong with this interpretation, I'm sorry. You guys can explain it to me, but that's the way I'm taking it. And I like how he just he did that goodbye. He, he actually said goodbye this time. And I like how all the other thing, it's like, his dad's like, y you know what, as long as you take care of us when we're old, that's all we're asking for, or something like that. And he's just like, I can't, because he's not there, and he doesn't even know if he's ever going to get to go back home, or ever get to see his parents again, so this was, this was great. This was good for him. So what what's the lesson he's supposed to take away from all this? I think, maybe, well, a couple things, I feel like, you know, just be yourself being you is enough. You don't need to keep comparing yourself to other people and keep trying to be this person that you think everyone thinks you should be. Just be you. You're enough, kid. You're special all on your own. Just existing makes you special. <laughs> that didn't say special right. Special. What did it do for you? I think it gave him closure, number one. Or number two, I guess I should say, because I just named one. But and I think it also opened his eyes to the way his parents really looked at him. You know, like, we were never expecting anything from you you probably just want him to be happy parent and child oh beautiful anyway i don't know what else to say I, I gotta get out of here but i like like so this trial i guess it kind of forces you to maybe learn something about yourself face something for him i thought it was gonna be something terrible but it was actually this was a good thing for him this was like a really positive experience i think really cathartic and just that closure was amazing and just getting that that understanding of how his parents really looked at him how things really were when you were at home, you know, like, they, like, them never really expecting you to be just like your dad, or live up to being so perfect, or, um, like, 
You're enough, sweetie. <laughs> You're enough. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I'm, I'm freaking out. I want to check this again and make sure it didn't lag. But, okay, it didn't. Thank God. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, I'm gonna get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.